Hello yogis, namaste, Melissa here from Mystical Stone. Welcome to your day 16 of our 30 day journey. And today's practice is healing. And we are working under the energy of the full moon. So we're going to tune with the Chandra vibes just to get that extra power of the moon. Uh, we're gonna get a uh, mat against the wall, short end of the mat. And if you have a blanket or a, um, just a large towel, have it handy and maybe fold it something like this and keep it next to you in case you decide to, uh, to use it. And we're gonna go ahead and bring ourselves towards the one edge of the mat. And you want to bring your buttocks right against it. And right from here, extend your bottom arm onto the mat and then extend your legs up. Then you should be able to feel your bum against the wall. If this is too intense for your hamstrings, this this feels that is too much, walk your body towards the top of the mat. Now, since you have your extra blanket, depending what your back is saying, so if this feels all right, you could have your blanket under the head. Some of you may fold it and support under the thighs, back of the legs, depending on your knees if extending your legs feels like too much. And another option is watch for your neck. When you do this, don't look sideways. I'll demo first. You can flex your feet, squeeze your bum, lift the hips and place your blanket under the lower back. And then release and let your tailbone drop. So depending what feels right for you, you can try all three and see which one your body likes the best. For me, actually, the second option is the one that felt the best. So I'm going to stick with this. Bring your arms at a goalpost posture at a 90 degree angle. Slightly tuck your chin, elongating the back of the neck. Close your eyes and breathe. Relax your toes, your foot soles. Relax the top of your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your lower legs. Soften your knees. Relax your upper legs. Relax your glutes. Allow your hips to be heavy. Relax your back your lower back, mid back, and upper back. Notice if your hips feel even on the floor or you feel a little bit rotated. So maybe one side of your body is closer to the ground than the other. You can try to balance. Maybe move your head gently side to side, tucking your chin, and then find center. Let your shoulders be heavy. Relax your arms, your hands and allow your fingers to curl naturally into your palms. No tension, no effort, just relaxation. And then continue to expand with every breath, rising, falling, rising, falling, continue to observe.
you may repeat the mantra so hum so as you inhale hum as you exhale so hum you can repeat it out loud or in your mind the mantra so hum means i am that I am one with my creator. I am one with a universe. You and I are one. So home. Continue to breathe. You can think about the energy that got stuck on your feet, your legs, and the base of the spine connected to your root chakra or muladhara are moving upwards. And just that rush of blood is also bringing the energy up towards your heart, towards your brain. Affecting the muladhara chakra is also affecting your sense of security. Breathing in and out. Noticing as your feet start getting cooler and you might feel the blood rushing down your feet, your legs. Breathe through the sensations. And in your next inhalation, wiggle your toes and fingers. Move your feet side to side. Stretch your arms overhead. And stretch, flex your feet, press your heels up. And exhale, release. You may take your blanket out of the way, whether you have it under your hips or under your legs or head. Release your hands by your sides, by your hips, palms facing up. Bend your knees, bring your foot soles on the wall and move your knees gently side to side. You can walk your feet a little wider apart. And when you're ready, come back to center, walk your feet closer together, extend your left leg, flex your foot and bring your right foot sole next to your right left knee. Don't use your hands. You can adjust your foot as far down as it naturally will go. Make sure there is no pressure on your kneecap. We keep that left foot active, pressing through the heel. If this is too intense, remember you can always wake aw move away from the wall or you can also have your blanket under your leg if that will feel better. So that's okay to use your props and I'm actually going to do that right now. But keeping that foot active, your hip flexor might start stocking, so don't overdo it, release if you need to, and breathe. Expanding into your right side, breathe deeply here.
On your next breath, bring your right foot sole against the inner thigh and let your knee flare, like if you were on a three pose, but just against the wall here. And breathe. Both feet are active. Bring your knee up when you're ready. And if it works for you, gonna bring that ankle over your thigh and push your knee away. Keep your foot active and breathe. If this is a no-no for your knee or for your hip, we stay on the first version. Press your tailbone down towards the floor to get a deeper stretch through the left hamstring. And mindfully, without using your hands, keep pushing that right knee away from you and towards the wall. Keep your upper body relaxed and breathe. And the stretches are connecting towards with the energy of the hips and the pelvis. So working with the Svadhisthana Chakra or the Sacrum Chakra. Now when you're ready, release your knee, bring it up, extend your leg, take a few moments and observe. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. When you're ready, flex your right foot and bring your left knee. And you want to adjust that left knee. So you want the knee in line with your hip and your toes. You remember you have the option to place your blanket under the extended leg to support that knee. So check in. If you did it on one side, you want to do the same thing on the other side. Breathe deeply. Keep both feet active. This wall version of Pafna Muktasana or Wind Reliever will help you to stimulate your um, lymph nodes of the belly and the digestive system. Now when you're ready, you're going to open your left knee out to the left, bringing your foot sole against your inner thigh. Balance your hips, keep both feet active and breathe. Remember we're working with the Svadhisthana Chakra, so Send your energy, your pranic flow into the belly, the lower parts of the belly below the navel, on your hips and on your sacrum. This chakra is connected with our creativity source so we can awaken our inner genius. We'll take one more breath here, full deep breath. And when you're ready, bring your knee up. And if it works for you, you're gonna place the ankle over the thigh, flex your foot, and push your knee without using your hands. Breathe. Remember, you always have the option to go on to your uh, first version of the pose if needed. We're still working with the hip region, so we're still working with the Spadhisthana or Sacrum Chakra. If you are artistic 
or a creative and you want some inspiration, working with the hip region is a really good idea so that you can get all that inspiration from the subconscious mind. We'll take one more breath here, full deep breath. And mindfully, when you're ready, release your leg, extend it. I'll take a few moments here, relax your feet. Notice your energy. And on your next breath, we're gonna walk our feet onto the wall and then foot soles together, knees flare. Keep your feet active and push your knees towards the wall. Press the tailbone down towards the floor and try to press the inner edges of the feet together, your toes apart, feel the arches getting away from each other and your knees are gonna go closer to the wall but without using your hands. If you notice that your knees touch the wall but then your feet open, then we're not really getting into our hips. So we're trying to really keep those hips neutral. I mean, they're externally rotated but within your range of motion without overly doing it. So your feet can help you to keep those knees safe while you go into this um, hip opener. Relax your arms and take a few moments. You're gonna do a gentle pranayama here. When you're ready, bring your hands into Hakini Mudra. Imagine like you're holding the full moon right between the hands. Throw your shoulders into their sockets. And as you inhale, bring your arms overhead. Keep your ribcage connected to the floor. And as you exhale, arms up. And again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Find your rhythm. One more breath. Inhale, release your arms and exhale with control. Bring your knees in, extend your legs. Observe your breath. We're gonna mindfully come down off the wall. So when you're ready, bend your knees, bring your foot soles on the wall and walk your feet towards the one side. Use your top hand to help yourself up on your next exhalation. Now from here, we're gonna walk towards the top of the mat. Your feet still can be against the wall. Extend your legs. Relax your body and observe. When you're ready, bend your knees, bring your foot soles on the floor, bring your knees in, and when you're ready, rotate your uh, pelvis towards the left. You can have a blanket in between your legs. Gaze towards the right, breathe.
every time we go into a twist we're sending the energy into the manipura chakra or the solar plexus which is right below the sternum your breath might feel a little bit constricted which is normal just try to breathe a little slower when you're ready bring your knees back to center and let them fall to the other side gaze maybe to the left once again we start guiding the breath into the left side and remember just to slow down your breath so that you can still fill up your lungs On your next breath, come back to center and release your feet on the ground, put your blanket aside, swing your knees side to side. Come back to center when you are ready and go onto your tummy. And once on your belly, you're going to bring your feet parallel, so your toes point straight back towards the wall, press the top of the feet on the floor and bring your elbows right below your shoulders so you want to hug your elbows to make sure they're not wider than the shoulders bring your hands to the front of the mat and make sure that your hands are at the same distance as your elbows and shoulders then relax your shoulders away from the ears squeeze your bum tuck your tailbone look forward or up and breathe every time you inhale your belly is expanding into the floor and every time you exhale, you let your hips sink. Don't let your mind wander and breathe. If this is too much for your neck, keep your gaze forward and your chin parallel to the floor. Sending the breath and the energy to the heart center or your Anahata Chakra. Now on your next exhalation, tuck your chin onto your chest. Closing your throat and just swallow about three times. and breathe. And stimulating the Vishuddha Chakra or the throat chakra so that we may find our voice rising and falling into your back body. breath bring yourself back to center bring your hands under the shoulders and push yourself up on your knees if you want you can have your blanket under the knees or your heels to sit back bring your knees closer together and rest your forehead towards the floor you can stack your hands or your fist under the forehead breathe Sending the energy through the third eye, the Ajna Chakra. Maybe close your eyes and focus here on the space between the eyebrows. This is your center of intuition. This is a portal where we can access the inner teacher.
We'll take one more breath here. And when you're ready, inhale, push yourself up, use your hands, and exhale, come all the way up to an upright. Relax your shoulders back and down. Notice your breath. And we're going to equalize with downward facing dog. If you don't feel like going on to downward dog, you can come on your knees. Walk towards the front of the mat. Press your elbows onto the floor. Elongate your spine and let your head dangle. Push the mat away from you. So you want the navel to draw in towards the spine. Press the top of the feet on the floor and breathe. Try to keep your elbows right over, um, right under the shoulders. If you're okay for downward facing dog where your elbows used to be curled, place your hands, then curl the toes under, pick up the knees and push back and breathe. If you'd like, you can walk it out here, pressing your heels towards the floor, maybe walking your hips side to side, and then come back to center. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Eyes of the elbows face forward to the best of your ability and try to open through your upper back. So space between your shoulder blades. Relax your neck, move your head yes and no. And when you're ready, bring your knees down as you inhale. And as you exhale, uncurl the toes. You can sit back on your heels to seal our practice. Or you can sit back on cross-legged Sukhasana. Bring your hands together at the center of the heart, shoulders back and down. We're going to seal our practice with our Metta Mantra. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live in peace. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live in peace. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all be safe. May all live in peace. Inhale through your nostrils, expand. And through your nostrils, exhale. Inhale to Om. Tuck your chin onto your chest. Blink your eyes open. Gaze forward. Build up extra good vibes and shower yourself with them all around you. And then use the same energy and shake off all those stuff that you don't need to carry anymore. Whatever it is that needs to leave you right now, just shake it off. Thank you so much, yogis. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and happy full moon. Namaste. If you are ready to get serious about your yoga practice, remember to check out my online yoga studio, link in the description. Also press the like button before you go, subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so you can get notifications whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much for being part of this mystical community. Namaste.